a simple violin varnish, you only need three ingredients. A resin, a drying oil, and a solvent, turpentine. In previous videos, I showed you how I made the turpentine and the oil. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I took the leftovers from making turpentine and turned those into varnish. Preparing the resin went on at the same time as making the turpentine. I started with pine sap that I'd picked off of trees and um, some of it was soft, some of it was hard, it was full of debris. So the first thing I did was melt it down and as soon as it was melted I poured it through a sieve to get rid of the largest lumps of bark etc. After sieving, there was still a lot of debris in the resin, but I didn't bother trying to get it out because time was short and I knew that once I thinned the varnish for spreading, all of that debris would just drop to the bottom of the jar. Once the resin is cool, it becomes quite hard but also brittle and not very useful as a protective coating, so it needs to be toughened up by adding oil to it. So I need to measure out just the right quantities of oil and resin. Now because I only managed to make a very small quantity of turpentine, I'm limited to making a very small quantity of varnish. I measured out three parts resin to one part of oil. And then I took it outside and heated it just enough to melt the resin and let it combine with the oil. And then added a little turps and I had a light colored varnish. To make a dark varnish, it's simply a matter of cooking the pine resin for longer in the initial stages and it will darken and start to take on sort of reddish tones. And once you've got the colour you want, it's just a matter of combining it with oil and turps the same way. I'm going to mix that in and while it's still hot, it goes into a jar.